Welcome to the Java Cafe, Java fam. Listen, listen, I need to rock out this morning. For some reason, there were tech issues. We're a little bit late. I had to text or email Dr. Brandy a new uh, link this morning. But good morning. Welcome to the room. Kind of bright and reddish this morning. I don't know if props is in to give me my seal of approval for appearance, but it is Monday morning. We are in the second week of the second quarter. And I find myself saying this often. If you have plans or you had plans for the first quarter, they didn't go so well. Uh, this is the second week of the second quarter, and you can start again today. I'm telling myself that on a little break for a couple of days, if you all haven't got texts uh, back from me or heard from me or phone calls, I am chilling. Ma, good morning. Good to see you in the room. Uh, she text, uh, called me, and I texted her back and said, I'm on. Just had a little tech difficulty. Dow from Tennessee, good morning. Good to see you in the room. Stephanie, good morning. Good to see you in the room. Lasagna, good morning. Looking forward to sitting with you this week. Sharon Cornelius. Sharon Cornelius. Sharon Cornelius, good morning. Good to see you in the room. Kelly, Kelly, everybody, please do me a favor and wish this wonderful young lady that did our Java Cups. Today is her birthday. Kelly is 34 years old. Kelly is 34 years old. So we want to say happy birthday to her. Dr. Brandy is coming in. Just going to be delayed a couple of minutes to finish these greetings with these tech issues this morning. But we're here. We're here. It's Mental Health Monday. My brother Stan is in the room. Good morning. Sister Debbie, good morning. Good to see you in the room. I need to get up with you from like a month ago. Uh, my apologies. Naraki, good morning. Good to see you in the room. Folks are saying happy birthday to Kelly. Kelly, thanks again so much. Um, we ain't trying to make you cry, Kelly. We just want to say happy birthday to you, a whole 34 years old. Jesus, Lord, have mercy. Uh, Tasha, good morning. Good to see you in the room. I owe you an email. Kelly is saying this is how she's starting her B-Day morning with the Java fam. Charlotte, good morning. Good to see you in the room. Kelly, mama said, Mama Java said, cry if you want to. So there's all the birthday wishes from friends and family and the Java fam. It's Monday morning. And as you know, every Monday we check in on our mental health. So we're going to get ready to bring in Dr. Brandy. She's sitting in the background with her Falcon, Falcon's cup. I can see her, though you all cannot. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring her in the room. Good morning, Dr. Brandy. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Hey, happy Monday. It is um, Monday. It is Monday. Yes, um, yes, yes, I'm yes. still on the break. So it's it's still today is my Saturday. Yeah, it, it ain't my Saturday, but it was still a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I got up this morning and I'm like, OK, as we do every Monday morning, I text you and I'm like, how are you doing? Because I'm just it, 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 it's just it's not so much bad. It's just a lot going on. And like we're human and it's just like we just need a break. And, you know, I took a break this weekend. Um, if Toy comes on, I owe Toy a phone call and check in with her. So I'm trying to not get in trouble so I can say you don't hear. Hi, Toy. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I just we really need to. And I know you may have a subject in mind today, but um, no, I don't, I don't really got one. When I texted can, you and you were like, are you up? And I was just like, I'm up. Like, that's all I can say. It's, you know, like y'all have those mornings where you up, but you like, I don't want to not up. 
You don't want to go out of bed. I really want to move. Like, you know, I was up, but I hadn't even really, because in the morning, I do two things when I get up. I get up, stretch, let air in, do that. And then I will, but yeah, yeah, I'll either like um, turn on the news, like just to hear like, that, you know, what's going on in the world, that type of thing. Or I will turn on some music and continue to do some stretches. This morning, I was just like, "Mm -mm, no. Mm -mm. That's that's where I am as well. I'm like, I just some morning, and it's a Monday morning. Let's just Mm -hmm. let's just name that that Monday morning has that uh feeling to it. It's not, I'm looking outside, the sun is out, so it's not dreary out. We had a dreary weekend. Mm -hmm. Like weekend was dreary. We just also speaking of dreary, um, unfortunately want to name there was another homicide, you know, over this weekend in Rosendale. Um, all this going on in in the Ukraine. We still have COVID and this. Mm -hmm. B12 trying to be a vitamin uh, morph of the uh, uh, Delta Cron, you know, it's still out there. Numbers are going. Um, yes, I saw it on the news today. It's going rampant in DC right now. It's well, spreading. Numbers are back up. <laughs> right. um, warm Jeez. weather is coming. And we mm-hmm. just, folks, we just cannot repeat um, last year. Yeah. And so let's jump so into this morning was yep that's that's what this morning was is I'm up all of but that I'm still but, but, tired but but can we celebrate some yeah. energy over the fact that we have someone that shares your demographic on the Supreme Court? Oh yes, black girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was like, okay, where he going with this? <laughs> no, let me tell you, like I was like, whoo. Whoop, whoop. We in there. We in there. Mm-hmm. In there. And you know, it's often said if you need yeah. something Let's fixed, mm-hmm. call a black woman. And you know, one of the things that is so interesting, I know it's mental health Monday, but we need to talk about this as black people. Um, the numbers don't necessarily change, but in the debate and in the discourse, when they come to a decision, the discourse is going to be very different with the black woman in the room. Do you agree? I agree to a certain extent. Okay, um, go ahead. you know, I think that the reality is is um, the current construction of the court does still worry those who are like you know who actually follow the Supreme Court and follow decisions um, because it is still tilted in terms yep. of one ideology versus another. But I do feel that her voice will be a strong voice in the court. And just in terms of her litigation background, um, some of the other justices just don't have that same just background and thinking and processing. And so I absolutely think she gonna put on them robes and it's gonna be a new do- a new day and a new story of those, you know, behind closed doors. And this is why I, I really hope that one day um, the Supreme Court gets to the point where they do allow cameras um, so that you are able to see more about how the decisions are made and, and how the nuances behind those decisions um, instead of everything being, written like that's the only way you get to understand how they feel about decisions is through the written um we can which can sometimes be tedious to read but yeah either way kentaji brown jackson let's go we not sorry miss jackson we we celebrating we happy on today we celebrating your story our story our ancestors ancestors like Listen. because you are our ancestors' wildest dreams, and you will be what future kids see and look up to because they will look and see that I can be anything because you are, and that is powerful is to be able to see your reflected when they take that picture of nine and you see yourself amongst that picture and so it is an important day last week i mean i saw all the texts and everything going out you know folks celebrating they don't even know what a supreme court is they can't name nobody else but they know that Brown jackson is one of them i listen it it, it just there, so i put a question up there how does her hit her story uh, play off the of words that Ayanna Presley uses all the time. How does it impact you? And I can see from your energy, you're preaching. So as a, this has a this has an impact on our mental health, especially as Black people. And then let's keep it even more um, 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 defined as a Black woman. 
that does what impact dr brandy does that have on your mental health did, did it just is it something in the moment that happened and you just move on with your life or is there a mental health impact of seeing this achievement i think it has an impact in the sense that you say yes like in, in the sense you say we can we will we do right and and it gives you hope it gives you promise you know in the same way that Everybody has a story around, you know, when they first heard about uh, former President Barack Obama, mm -hmm. like in terms of his trajectory and rise to become president. Okay. So everybody has a story. And I know most people remember the night that he was elected because there were tears. It was joyous. It was celebration because, again, one does not look like the other. And that needs to one be of these things. <laughs> you know, and, and, it, and it's a shame that, again, we're in 2022 and we're still talking about first. <laughs> you know, like we're still we're still having to do those hurdles, but it's important in terms of her story because it's all of our story. And yeah. again, it represents that we have come so far and yet we still have so far to go before America is truly reflective of everyone in it. And so it was beautiful. It, and, it, and it was beautiful, too, to see some have to eat crow. It was beautiful. I mean, the, stand, the stance point here, and, and what I asked you about the mental health impact, black little girls across the world, not just mm -hmm. this country, let's keep it 100. And let's name the fact that Kamala <laughs> sat there and tried to contain herself when mm -hmm. she read the votes. And so black girls across the country are seeing Kamala, are seeing uh, 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 yeah. now in the church world, we would call her um, Justice that's justice elect. elect. Yeah, I, justice I, elect. Yeah, yeah. Not, not designated. But, justice but elect. Thing, but James, I would say it's not just black girls, but it's black boys too. Because black what? boys are being raised by black women. And so it's good to see your mama, your auntie, so someone who's being health? your grandmother That's up the there. Paper. What's yeah. the mental health impact of that? And I did say earlier, it's oh. black people, period. But there yeah. is, because we have to understand also that our brother's test, test, testosterone carriers can do a little bit better. And so can our estrogen sisters. We can do we can walk and chew gum, as I often say at the same time. So thank you for renaming that. But that's a mental health impact because that black woman that's raising that black king gets a little she, she's walking into work a little bit different today. Mm -hmm. He's getting up with a little different energy today. Do you think? I think so. <laughs> she, I mean, she you know, it's almost like you, you see someone else walking in their power and walking in what they were destined to do because I saw a photo I think back of her from high school and you know how they get the quotes of what do you want to be what do you want to do and hers literally said one day I hope to be a justice right like she didn't say what level but she said one day I hope to be a justice and so you think about affirmations you think about speaking it you think about having people you look up to and people you model after and so for those little girls and those little boys out there they can look and say this look what she did so I can do it too and then start to go a step further and say okay she did it I can do it too, but what are the steps that it takes? What are the communities I need to surround myself with? What supports do I need? And so that's where we go from thinking it to believing it to acting on it. And so it truly is a mental health component and an impact because then you can get to the point where you're saying, wow, it's not just a hope. It's not just a dream. It's not just something out there, but I can reach on it. I can grab onto it. And now I just have to put the steps and the pieces in place. Vision is important. Affirmations are important. Belief and hope are important too, but we got to follow through. Um, okay. You know, and so, and so, you know, I don't want to preach this one. I know it's Holy Week, but I wanna, look, I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. Like, I'm like, Ooh, sit down. You will need a collection this morning. Cause you, you're supposed to be tired. What is a Supreme Court, right? Sharon Cornelius, Sharon Cornelius, Sharon Cornelius. Like what is, but, but here's the thing too, that's important is her nomination, her confirmation and soon to be sworn in ceremony brings attention to what is the Supreme Court? What is their importance? What do they do? 
What are the decisions that will be made around privacy, around medication, around just general identity, politics? And so that's important too, is that sometimes it takes one of us being there for us to even pay attention to it. That's the, point. About the same thing with Tiger Woods this weekend. I'm going to tell y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we can go, we can go right back to her, but uh, let's just name the fact, the point I was saying earlier that that conversation in those chambers amongst that nine is going to change. All right, let's jump to Tiger Woods, a black. Oh, no, 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 but it, it's connected in the sense that it, it, a lot of people ain't care nothing about no golf. They don't care. They what is a golf? What you do? What's a putt? You what said a what is a golf? What, you what said is, what a, golf? is a golf? What is a golf? <laughs> okay. What is a golf? Okay. What is a par four? What back nine? What that mean? Huh? But Tiger Woods playing, so they gonna watch it. And they're going to learn some vocabulary. They're going to be looking out there and be like, oh, the greens are pretty today. You'd be like, you don't even know what you, yesterday, not all you knew about was, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All you knew about was college and kale. Now you're talking about some back nine and the greens are pretty. And oh my goodness, he hit it in the bluff. What? Sit down. So, but that's important because, okay, I, I get that. I get all of that. But what my point, though, Heidi, is not how he identifies himself. My point is, is that because he is and he exists, he opened the door for others to want to in, get in golf, to want to care about golf, to think about, oh, memberships and, you know, that type of thing. That's all is how he identifies. That's, you know, that's a different conversation. That's a whole nother mental that's health whole nother con because he came out and said he was cobbling nation. We were like, say what now? <laughs> but yes, he was all on Oprah talking about he cobbling nation. We, yeah. But anyways, um, but, but the point is, is that others look up to him and they see a reflection of themselves, despite how he wants to identify. And so it creates and open up avenues for some who never would have thought golf considered golf to one day say, hey, I'm going to step into that lane in the same way that the Williams sisters, Arthur Ashe and others paved the way for, for little black children to say, hey, I can do this. That's the same way that Kentaji Brown Jackson will do for future generations. Because right now, I believe the legal profession has about 5% black women across the United States that are, you know, actually practicing lawyers. And when you get to being equity partners, like actually having your name on the sign, it's around less than 1%. And so here's the here's the bottom line is that that needs to change. We represent 14, close to 15 percent of the population. So we should be the same when it comes to the jurisprudence and all other sectors. And so that's what the point is, is that it will start to create and change that conversation. Which needs to take place because in this call of equity in the country around race and this call of equity in the country around, you know, marriage. And because I remember one point uh, uh, like trans women, I remember at one point, as my mother said, and I you know, she was about to go in, um, she said here the I would and I'm not sure what part Ma, I would be as the way they drilled her. You know what I mean? Trying to dig her into the corner. Well, how do you define a woman? And then bringing up all that crap about her, her. Uh, uh, decisions in certain cases when it comes to uh, pedophilia and, and online children's yeah. you know, stuff. It, yeah. it, 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 but they, they, they were, I'll take it to well, the James. No James. weapon. James, it, 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 it go deeper than that. So here's the thing. And this is something I saw too. And this is wrapped up in, you know, lots of different conversations this week. Will Smith, others, even Tyga could go in there. Is there's this idea that if I do well, I follow of the rules I never step out of pocket that somehow I'll be treated differently that somehow by doing that which she has done most of her life like I mean you know they can look back her LSAT scores all of that her grades all of that right she was the model right the model but even then even then it's not always good enough. Even then, folks try to find the cracks in your armor. And don't let you make a mistake now. 
don't let you make a mistake because then that's even worse, right? In terms of the cracks. So I think it goes deeper than just the critical race theory and the whole pedophilia and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. it, go, it, it goes to the heart of it doesn't, it never matters. You can be the best of the best of the best. And this is why our parents have different conversations with us than some other communities is because they always drill into you. You have to be, you have to do and be, sorry. <laughs> My dog is like, you know, um, she, she, see, dogs for justice, okay? She understand what I'm talking about. Look at her, she growling, she growling, she you saying. You get that, Jesus? <laughs> well, I need to put you off camera for a second so you can get that because I heard that. All right. Come but on, no, he's knocking at your door. <laughs> right. No, Coco, she getting up in arms. She getting up in arms. Let me let me go off camera. I will be right back, y'all. Okay, that's cool. We got uh Dr. Brandy was there taking care of something at home. She's going to be back in a second. But I wanted to drive home the point as it's mental health Mondays to talk about the fact that what black folks, what um black boys and black girls, as I mentioned, and Dr. Brandy brought up uh earlier, that seeing examples in front of us. Uh, who are, who have achieved in areas that we aspire to, it does give us hope. It gives us an example. We start to study the person, okay, where they went to school, what classes did they take, and things like that. And so, and I'll share something in a minute that, that's that been quite heavy um, since Dr. Brooks was with us. You all set there, Dr. B? Yeah, yeah, I'm all set. I'm telling you, dogs for justice. <laughs> I'm so dogs for justice. Coco heard me. She was like, you getting up in arms. We got to fight. We got to continue to fight. Look at her. She is not playing. Coco was she like know. all all focused. And uh, yeah, anyway. she, she know. She know because again, she, I'm sure she be hearing me. You know, um, I was reading this weekend. It said um, things that only like black people do is say you say to their pets, oh, you know you understood uh, me. You know you heard me. I see <laughs> on Twitter. Uh, yes, on black Twitter. Guy, so, like, oh. so as I said, dogs for justice. Let's go. Okay. No, no, oh, no look. justice, no peace for everybody. And um, to sign off for Mama, Mama, Mama Harris, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a t-shirt and everything. <laughs> dogs for justice you know what we're gonna get we gonna get ready to wrap this up no so i'm joking but no um but no it's it it is a real question it's, of you know this idea it's impact. of it and the, the impacts of it because it always comes up every once in a while is kind of this conversation of you know are we post-racial have we gotten to a point you know and people talk about this all the time and there'll be conversations around that too it's saying look at kentaji brown jackson look at her Y'all arrived. We y'all arrived, you know, but then you'll be like, did y'all see the confirmation process? <laughs> like, that were y'all watching something different? Because these same folks voted overwhelmingly for her when she was, um, you know, associate um, appeals court justice, right? So what, what was different this time? Around? What's different now is, and let's do a little bit of education here. The United mm -hmm. the Supreme Court of the United States sets law and they interpret the constitution and so that's it, 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 not the grand, it, it, the supreme. Supreme. Yeah, supreme. Um, supreme but that goes to the point about that conversation that in the room where who's the uh justice she's replacing the guy that's retired um briar i believe Breyer. and yeah, so Breyer. where she's the clerk for him where he is a white man privilege whatever Nobody out of the nine have ever been able. Clarence. Yeah, we ain't going. Mm -mm. uh, so nobody. <laughs> he, he don't get invited to the barbecue. Let's keep it real. He don't get his wife invited. Too busy over there texting and trying he to get. Don't, no, no. Even even before all of them texts, he don't get invited to the barbecue because you know he might bring some mashed potatoes with some raisin in it. I don't know. <laughs> I just literally lost my whole, almost lost my whole mixer board. And the they microphone. don't get invited to the barbecue because she going to come and going to ruin everything. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But this is what the fear is because now this entity of the nine, mm -hmm. nine, you know, I'll, I'll leave that alone for a second. Yeah. There's a different conversation as a black woman. Now she can go all the way back through her upbringing she can go back a few weeks. He's supposed to, I think, retire in July. 
she'll be able to go back just a few months and speak to the issues of race, to speak to the issues of, of, of gender equity and whatnot, based on how, as my mom said, drilled in that process. And so I think the major difference is, Dr. Brandy, things in this country are changing. Uh, the browning of America, we've been saying that since that, that uh, uh, Charleston incident with the little things and they we won't be defeated and we won't be replaced or whatever because they scared the browning of america is is ever so prevalent and those that have had the power design systems and structures to keep the power they're losing it it's slipping through their hands hence we have all this stuff going on across the country around voter rights and i don't know how we got here on a monday morning but it does this is an impact on our mental health because decisions that this is a type of when we experience and see these things, it's a type of vicarious trauma because we sit there and then we take on our own incidents. We take on our own experiences and be like, well, yeah, my boss kind of treated me like that. So I don't think it's a far fetch that we tied in uh, our Justice Jackson uh, into the mental health Mondays here. Right. Today. But OK, so here's here's a question. <clears throat> And this is something I've really thought about it for at least like a decade or more is as we become browner in America, what does that mean in terms of our share of equity, our share of finances, our share of social, political, climate spaces and conversations? Because here's the reality. America is browning, but certain communities are not advancing as we brown. So we look at finances, for example, um, between now and let's say 20, I believe it's 45, $70 trillion, $70 trillion will pass from the baby boomers into the millennial generation and then the Gen Z's after. So the question is of that 70 million, how much Will African-Americans, Latinos, Asian-Americans, how much will groups actually have access to? Because we talk about this browning. And yes, that's important because demographically we will become the majority. But does that mean financially? Does that mean socially? Does that mean politically? Like, are we seeing it reflected in all areas? Policies, yeah, so, yeah. In policy. So here's the thing is, I'm not saying and not congratulating and happy about what this browning may mean, but let's also look at the reality is that if on the financial track we are on right now, if things do not change, legitimately, the African-American community will have zero dollars net wealth. Zero. We will, go from, Here. we will go from eight to zero. OK, and so we have got to have real conversations. Yeah, we can celebrate majority, minority, boop, 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 too, hoo, hoo, but our life circumstances changing. Right. Or like and that I'm 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 being very real here. This I don't want to get into political space or all of that. But reality is, is that we are celebrating. It's almost like um, I, I my mom talked about this all the time. It's like if you go to see a ventriloquist. Right. You're so focused on the movements that you don't see the other things that are happening in terms of how this is happening. Mm -hmm. Or you go to a puppet show and you're so focused on the movements, you don't see the strings. The so, yes, browning is happening, but who's still pulling? Who's the still pulling the strings? They may, look, look, look. They may have changed the puppet. Yes. No pun intended, they, may, but, they may change the puppet, but the strings never change. The strings don't change. Fortune 500 companies still reflect what they reflect school systems still reflect what they reflect think like so so that's what i'm saying is that we can be excited and happy but let's focus on what we should be excited and happy about right? I, listen, i'm with it you right there just it can't just be stat statistics about majority minority because that will deflect and distract because it's just the numbers and here's the point Heidi brings this up at uh, a good point. We keep waiting for someone to rescue us. Dr. Brandy, while we understand systemic structures and things are changing, mm -hmm. we can't go without having the conversation about some level of personal responsibility in this. Despite 
all that's built against us, that does not mean that we just throw our hands up, jump in the river of racism and, and genderism no. and, and, no. and, and, and toxic masculinity. And sometimes there could be female, what is it, uh, toxic, toxic femininity and all this other stuff from everywhere. We don't just sit there and ride the wave. Somehow no. we have to fight the current. And so while the systems are against yeah. us, we still kind of, even though it's upstream, let's, yeah. let's, but let's swimming upstream that. ain't easy. Think it about ain't that. easy, but women do it. They do it. They, they go up there. That's like their life's journey. They swim on that stream and then they like, it is done. It is well, I'm <laughs> but, but, but okay. So I guess one of the things with personal accountability is there's personal and then we have to get communal as well. Because yep. when we talk about all of these systems being what they are, so if as a community we understand the systems, we got to create our own. We got to have our own banking. We got to have our own schools. We got to have our own health systems. Like we got to have our own PayPal. PayPal. We got to have our PayPal. own. You, 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 you have got book. to set up the structures because otherwise, again, it'll be the the puppet master will change but the strings no will stay the same no pun intended no, again no pun intended you know and so and it's and yes we need the six figure seven figure businesses in our communities but we need the six to seven figure businesses that the owners live in the community right <laughs> cuz then those taxes let's let's get real about that because if the uh, if the owner don't live in the business and the business bring in and generate six to seven figures that six to seven figures goes to the city they live in because that's where they pay taxes like of course they'll pay business taxes and overhead and that type of thing but uh, but i mean like, okay again i i'm so like guys i'm so i'm so over it like i don't you know it, it, you're <laughs> over it but like, in it in the fact that I'm, I'm over it and i'm in it you know in the same way that like i think about housing and you know income restricted and all this stuff. i'm like it is great it's fantastic it is but then it still continues the cycle because again if you read the deeds you can't sell your income restricted for the like but anyways that's a um whole nother zoom and not zoom. it's a whole nother zoom uh, uh, but, but i mean in health. the sense of we we need to think about and get strategic about how do we make sure when the puppet master changes, we cut a string each time. We cut a string each time to where you start to actually see progress happening and occurring. Because again, I guarantee you, if we do not, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, we'll be having the same conversations. And now about why is this zip code? Why does this zip code have a lower life expectancy rate than this one? Why does this zip code continue to have higher asthma rates than this? Why does this zip code continue to be renters instead of owners? We will continue to have the same conversations 10 years, and 20 that's, years. And that's and the thing, that's Dr. Brandy, that we cannot let i saw your eyebrow Sorry. Not, uh, heidi all oh, fired up we we went from i is tired to i'm fired up <laughs> listen and it, it 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 really is you know it really is um an opportunity right now to have these conversations to um also yeah we it, right here in boston how we, we, get have, here? How, we, how, how how we, we got here because we brought up the wonderful his, her historic moment. Yeah, Kantaji. Uh, 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 you know, let's go back to Kantaji. Oh, and before I forget, Kelly, happy birthday, Queen. <laughs> happy birthday. I want to make sure I get that in because she was all like, oh, y'all just doing too much at the most. Well, we she, just, she said we, we was going in this morning. <laughs> yeah, we need to celebrate Kelly. Every day is a beautiful blessing, but a day that you get to celebrate a whole rotation that a whole rotation, three, six, and five. Okay. A whole rotation, all right? We're going to include look. science. We done talked about judicial. We're going to include science. We done we, talked about finances. We're we going to talk about finances. Like, look, mental health Mondays, we're going to cover it all. It, Let me all, tell the you. The intersectionality, you done got me started this morning. And see, now I need to go chill because <laughs> I got today and tomorrow to kind of just chill and, and, and get my life together. But it is it is amazing just to see the change that is happening um, in the country, the change that is happening locally 
And it is, as Eric said, it is much needed. It's much needed that we continue to cut those strings, as you said. But we have to, um, I think about the young woman that tore down the, uh, I think it was the Confederate flag um, a couple of years ago. And she probably, she climbed up there, but somebody somewhere assisted her. So as that was cut, when she came back down, there was still work to do. So as we cut those those proverbial strings that you're speaking of, we also have to bring other people with us. But it takes yeah. work to get up there. And as we get up and cut and that string drops, is are you uh -huh. helping, are you throwing that string to yes. somebody else? Are you holding the string okay. and helping yourself? To, that's a whole nother. Uh, that's uh, a, like, and that's something I'm feel so strongly about is that we've got to do better to have secession planning in our community in terms of it for me as a person like and I said this before is I don't care if I achieve because I want to make sure the community achieves because frankly I want us all on the island <laughs> like, like you know what I'm saying? I want us all to experience that. And so it it doesn't help me to keep the information for myself. Like you need to spread it because I truly believe a lot has been given to me. So I need to give to others. But we've got to do that as a community and continue that and continue that on so that, again, because we're talking about generational, when we talk about generational traumas, how do we start to talk about generational hope? How do we start to talk about generational triumph? How do we start to instill that and move towards there instead of still talking about trauma? Tra like, how do we start to change the mindset it's as well as the actions? Like, because there's a mindset gap and then you know, in terms of us moving forward, right? You have to and change so, the mind first before yeah. the behaviors because mm -hmm. yeah, Dr. Brandy, it's 945 Jesus, <laughs> all the time. This I said, it. You this ain't, and we ain't even said we we ain't even said today, oh no, it's gonna be short, you know. <laughs> feeling it. it. It was organic as we do often, but I think that conversations like these have an impact and someone is walking away today, they're gonna think different. Uh, when they go begin to spend that money, they're going to think different when they see an article about the Supreme Court rather than skipping it. They might read it, folks. So so we, we you know, we're having an impact um, an influence. And you can always tell when folks are getting ready to drop off because they like, have a good day. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you <laughs> we'll see you Bye, y'all. Um, but no, it's OK. Y'all still invited to the cookout. So it's Everybody <laughs> here is still invited to the cookout. Um, Mama Java, thank you. Dr. Brandy, thank you. Um, as you do every Monday, this one was, this one was different and they keep getting better and better, um, every Monday and, uh, uh keys, Rachel is in the room. We had her birthday. Rachel, happy birthday. happy birthday. I saw you got that Bojangles girl. Mm -hmm. She did. You. I got to post, post a picture too, but this is where we ended at Dr. Brandy. It's about us. You know what I mean? About us coming up and moving together, there's the personal responsibility and then there's the communal responsibility. Uh, communal, no, communal. Did I mess that up? <laughs> it's all right. We, we understood what you said. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But we'll <laughs> be back here. Um, in the words. Listen, I'm trying, I gotta finish this Java so I can get up and get together. But um, Eric, thank you so much. And uh, I wanted to um, just share before we go, well, Dr. Brandy, I'll, I'll pay the bills after you get off, but I appreciate you. Um, I don't think there's anything else. We missed this Friday, five at five on Didi's Cry, but to hop on over to Didi's Cry this Friday at 5 p.m. and there'll be a, a show up there. Yes, for, for Good Friday. So for it's going to be a good five at five, y'all. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't want to share the like, tea. I don't want to share the tea too early, but it's going to be a good one. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to have to sidebar <laughs> between now because you know it's Good Friday. So, you know, I'm coming. This is Holy Week. Let's just acknowledge this is Holy yes. Week uh, for those. Holy Week, that, um, summer, I believe Ramadan is still. Um, Ramadan, I believe, is well. still. Yep, yep. Um, you know, and so it's just, again, the energy is just in the air. It's getting warmer this week. It'll be 70. I think one day at least going to be like 70. So y'all be safe and, uh, you know, out there. I'm sure I'm going to see some shorts. <laughs> I'm, 
<laughs> Let me get off of here, Dr. Brandon, before we go down another path. That, that we'll I know, open. right? Yeah. I'll see yes. So thank you, Rachel. Ramadan does in May 2nd. So yes, it'll be celebrated. Um, see? You know, and, and be mindful. If any of you teach or um, have colleagues, co-workers, again, there's lots of fasting going on. So folks, you know, may be a little bit, um, you know, slower to the uptick, uh, less falling over conversational in the evening meetings and things like that. So just, just be mindful of that. Um, but yeah, y'all have a great, great, great week, great Holy week. Um, happy Ramadan and we'll see you back here. What's, what's next week is Patriot day, right? Is that, is that the holiday? That's a holiday. And we just actually might, I don't know, Dr. Brandy, you could, see, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out, but we may, we, we might, y'all might not see us is what James is saying. Might see us, but it might be a pre-record or, 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 or yeah. Of, uh, so maybe we'll do the, y'all uh, might not see us. Yeah. Marathon Monday. That's right. It is. One of these days I'm going to run it y'all. I am. Y'all heard it here on Java with you. No, friend. it's, it's a bucket list item for me. I'm gonna run the marathon. All right. Well, Austin. you better go ahead. Listen, you better get the fat I'm a, y'all. I'm gonna run the width, not the length. <laughs> That's like across the street. You know what? You better get with Thaddeus and um Gail up in here and get you training Jesus to get ready to no, run. No, no, no. I the year no it real talk, y'all. The year I was training was the year I ruptured my Achilles tendon. Straight up, I was. I mean, I was in the gym. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not laughing at that. <laughs> Rachel's comment went up. Oh, going to raise money for Java with Jimmy. Uh, um, Job with Jimmy's not a, a, a 501c3 yet, yeah. Um, see, and so we, 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 we can't do that, but yeah, yeah, listen, <laughs> when you do it, when you do, but there's a the, we for profit, so we can fund the non profit work, well, yeah. I gotta, you know, I, I want to get back into running again. So I was actually going to go for a walk this morning, but as you said, my bed was like, mm, not quite. Why don't you just stay here for a little bit? Yeah. But yeah, Dr. B, I feel that. thank you. Thank you. As you do every Monday and come in um, and, and we just talk mental health and whatnot. I do remember seeing a few words elevated uh, folks. Uh, um, mood, I think, sort of changed since we. um, um Mm-mm. All right, Heidi. I'll talk to you later. Um, Dr. Brandy, get off of here. And um, Look, I ain't say it. I ain't say it. That's that's coming from the mother's board. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Heidi's, oh. not mother's board. Heidi's not on the mother's board. Oh, well, geez. she probably should be. No, because she has the she has the wisdom too, but she's not at a she's not. Oh, okay. I'm going to get well, in auntie, trouble. Auntie. She's auntie. Auntie Heidi board. is auntie. Okay. She's not mother's board, so we're gonna have aunties. Okay. Okay. Uh, hi. All right. <laughs> but anyways, um, people, I got to go. All right. Y'all have a great, great day. Be well. Um, you can always reach out. Happy birthday, all my Aries and Taurus babies. <laughs> I'm going to leave that right alone, Dr. Brandy. And we'll see you uh, uh, next Monday, if not before. All right. All right. Bye bye. Listen, guys, uh, I'm going to get ready to get off of here. Just wanted to mention a couple of things. First of all, dope session today with Dr. Brandy. Um, on one hand, I struggle. I'm like, do we get a curriculum or subject list um, going out or do we just sort of go with the flow? And somewhere we're always in between. Um, but I wanted to let you know that this week we have a lot going on. We have um, Alex Goldstein, who is kind of becoming one of my heroes. He's a communications Guru. Um, but one of the things that he did during COVID was he created this um, sort of space where it's the faces of COVID. And so he's coming in the room tomorrow at 9 a.m. to talk about that because we, you know, the impact we're coming up on two years um, and we're at the point where they say that, you know, losing someone, it takes a minimum of two years to sort of uh, begin the process of getting used to them not being here. And so while we're moving on and while numbers are I was going to say getting better while numbers are fluctuating. We still have to remember that folks have passed are passing. And then if not careful, can still pass. And so we're going to talk with um, Alex about that tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, we have the state's uh, mass. Jesus, I don't have this card in front of me. We have the Massachusetts Council on the Arts. They have a whole lot of money. A whole lot of money that they they need to give to entities and artists 
in the Massachusetts uh, uh, area, in the state of Massachusetts. And so um, the executive director of that council is coming on to talk with us about that. And then on Thursday, I've been mentioning Jimmy on the water, Jabba with Jimmy on the waterfront. Um, some young people are coming into the room to talk about the overall initiative about getting black and brown people down to the waterfront and equity on the waterfront, not just seaport, but the entire waterfront, East Boston, all the way down. And so they're coming on on Thursday. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for this week. Um, again, I'm off until went off until Wednesday um, if I'm slow to respond to things or whatever. And I think that's it for me this morning. Thank all of you for tuning in. And we will be back tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I don't think I forgot uh, anything. I don't think. If I do, I'll, I'll post it. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And we'll see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. here in the Java Cafe for Java with Jimmy with Alex Goldstein uh, for the Faces of COVID. Peace, everybody. Mm -hmm.